I just had an idea. Um, I'm listening to Greg Braden on YouTube, and he's talking about how life is holographic in nature, that it's, there's only one of us, basically, it's, we are one, in, in a sense, we, this collective unity of Earth and the energy produced by it and given to it is not one entity, one single current of force, obviously, with phalanges and shit, all the energy's flowing through everything, so there's this one unit and what that means is that this one unit is reproduced over and over and it's, I can't show you, it's the same way as looking through these goofy glasses, these glasses it's like, you see what a fly sees, so I see like only like this much of the screen and I see it like 20 times or 50 times and it's the same way with reality what we see is this little bit and it's reproduced infinite amount of times essentially probably maybe it's finite but what, what's significant about that is that when you change one part of a holographic uh, whatever you would call it a holographic pattern if you like break off the upper right corner of one part, it's broken off of every part in the hologram. So when you choose to do something different, that change affects everything in the hologram. Every repeti every rep every repetition is represented. Which makes total sense, because if you have a good day and you go out and you, you get stuff accomplished, you're going to be more likely to have a good night, you know? Because, because you know, all these little, all the little increments in the hologram are basically the little snippets of your life. I could probably spiral into some loud ranting tangent. But uh, I just figured I'd get this idea down on, on paper. Video paper. Well, I realized before I posted that it doesn't actually, if you break off one part on one, it doesn't actually break off that same part in everything because of the curved nature of reality. You're getting a, kind of a convex perspective on what's happening, and you're kind of seeing into it. So your right eye is going to see something slightly different than your left eye, and then your stuff you're not going to see at all. So stuff you change will affect a great amount of the, your holographic imagery or projection. But you're still subject to your immediate surroundings, which is why internet video is so fucking great, because it's basically free to use. I mean, free to cheap to use. And you can affect a vast amount of people with your daily changes, like if you make a video blog about your healthy lifestyle, thousands of, you know, of people will follow your path, or whatever, and I'm kind of going with rhetoric here, but whatever you do, whatever you project, it basically widens your, your ability to see and perceive, and it's happening because you're perceiving it, but that's only a backwards way of looking at it, like saying the dog bred, like in Spanish they would say the dog red, rather than the red dog. Um, it's definitely happening independent of you seeing it, and you're seeing it because it's happening, as it's happening, however you want to look at it. So, I hope, you know, that, that, I hope that asterisks, asterisized,